All right, as you can see, this is Gigabyte X470 Oros Ultra Gaming motherboard. I had it for years, and now I'm going to upgrade into ASUS ROG Streak B550. I believe this is one of the top motherboard and a great combination and most compatible with one each other. So let's do it. All right, so when you are planning to swap your motherboard, the first job is you have to be careful because when you build the PC is one thing but when you remove everything and put it back is different thing. So first of all what you have to do you need to disconnect any cable connection which is comes from the power supply, ATX case and almost everything and once it disconnect then second job would be to take out your PCIe graphics card by removing one or two screws. Remember, the 24-pin connector is a bit stiff, so be careful when you pull it. Make sure you don't damage anything. Once the PCIe graphics card is removed, put it in the safe place. And now we're going to check if there is anything connected or not. Once all the cable connection disconnected, we need to take out the nine standoff screws. Okay, Most of the ATX full-size motherboard does comes with nine screw holes so make sure you double check all the screws are in black in color so it's very easy to get confused make sure you remove every single screws before you pull the motherboard out Once the motherboard taken out from the ATX case, you are good to go. Keep it in the flat surface. And this part is the most difficult part. I will tell you why. First of all, disconnect your CPU fan connector. Now, take out the four screws. And before you pull the fan out, be careful. It's very easy to damage the CPU fan. So I would say, here is a trick. Before you start this process, make sure you turn on your PC and leave it on for half an hour or use it for half an hour. In that way, the CPU get hot, the actual thermal paste comes much more softer, so easily it can pull this out and it's not going to take out the actual CPU. All right, that's the thing. So, first, remove the four screws before you pull this out. Right now, the most important part is to clean the CPU. I would always suggest you to use 99.99% rubbing alcohol and try to clean it as much as possible before you pull out the motherboard because when you hold with your fingertips, it might damage one or two pins from the CPU and that could lead the complete damage of your CPU. So first, before I removing it from the CPU socket, I will make sure it's clean and it's good to go. So I can just take this out and put it into the new motherboard. And when you clean your CPU with 99.99% rubbing and coal, it's going to give you that much outcomes. As you can see, this is like brand new. Now, this is the time to swap it. This is the new B550 Rockstreak Asus motherboard. All right, so now if you want to keep the same cooling fan, then you know you have to apply the same procedure. You must need to remove the bracket and apply the same old one. Or if you want to upgrade your cooling fan or the cooling system, then it depends on which system that you want. One more thing, if you want to use the same old CPU fan, make sure you clean the heat sink before you reapply any thermal paste. And I believe in crossway to apply the thermal paste is best option and is spread the thermal paste equally top of the CPU.
And now when you tighten the screw, be careful, don't tighten too much. Do a cross when you start with first one, do in the other side, skip the second one. In that way, the CPU sits properly and the alignment comes correct. Now, don't forget to reconnect the CPU fan. That's the first thing. Now, if you would like to upgrade your RAM, then I would suggest you, you can do that. This is the best time. If not, you can keep it as it is. And also, this is the time to, to remove your existing SSD. Now, the B550 Rock Streak motherboard does have two slots for M.2 NVMe SSD and both of them comes with the heatsink. So feel free to use any one of them to get the same speed and advantage. And also the new motherboard comes with M.2 screw. So make sure you put it in the correct place. Check it before you tighten it. And before we put the heatsink back, make sure you peel it off because the new motherboard does have the film protector on it and it's done now we can upgrade the actual ram stick this b550 motherboard also take ddr4 and this is dual channel so if you would like to use the 8 and 8 i would suggest you put it in the first one skip the second slot and put it in the third one to get the maximum advantage i'm just using those ram stick for example if you don't want it, just you can skip it. That's what I did in the final video. When you swap the motherboard, be careful with case standoff notification. You must need to know how many screw holes into your new motherboard and how many was there into the old one. Make sure you check it. If there is any extra screws, please remove it. Otherwise, it's going to damage the actual motherboard. To know what is case standoff notification, you can search in Google and learn more about it. This is very important. And once everything done, we can put it back. We can tighten all the screw. And before you do, always try to remove any sort of film protector. So finally it's done it's working pretty smooth there is no errors or anything 
sometimes the old operating system might be not going to work so in that way you need to reinstall your system before you do that make sure you back up your data and complete the process if you would like to know how to enable the usb boot and reinstall windows in uefi environment then you can check the video link would be in the description and if you do like this video please thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching i hope i'll see you in the next one guys bye for now